so on the on the note of uh, fairies uh, again um, this was May 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 2022 so on the note of fairies uh, the outer islands are still accessible only by speedboat speedboat transfers that is usually organized by your hotel um, or you can or contact the operator yourself and get yourself organized so earlier before the COVID had set in there used to be um, public ferries which would operate to the outer islands and it would cost you a fraction of what the speedboat transfers cost um, but they would take two to three three to four hours depending on the distance of your uh, island from Male. Uh, I stayed in Fulidu which was roughly it was in Wawu Atoll south of Male, about 60 kilometers from the mainland. Uh, a speedboat transfer cost me 40 US dollars per person um, and about one hour 20 minutes to go from Male straight to Fulidu. Now the same route would cost approximately three dollars on a public ferry if it was operating but it would take about three and a half hours to get to Fulidu um, because of a stopover in Mafushi and also it's a slower bigger vessel um, so that that was that's the those are the downsides of a public ferry but having said that when I was there there was no public ferry operating I remember walking into an MTCC ferry terminal on um, Ohulu oh, sorry on on Male Island and uh, asked them about the public ferry they said it's not accessible um, but there uh, there were other um, there was on the other side of the Malay mainland I think Willingali, Willingili ferries uh, which was close to Rasfanu beach um, on the south side of Malay island uh, those were operating public ferries that would go to three different islands um, in different atolls and that was those were the public ferries that were operational now they didn't have ferries to Fulidu from there but definitely had um, ferries to three other islands I will leave um, the name and the, the names of these islands in the description um, or when I'm uploading this video I will figure out what those names were and add it in the video but those three islands definitely had the public ferry operating they were like three or four dollars per person um, but if I didn't have it to Fulidu so the other option is obviously a speedboat transfer if you are traveling in groups of maybe six to eight people you can actually negotiate a rate with the ferry guy or you can even have your own private ferry uh, because it might be a lot more cheaper for you to go that way uh, i remember traveling from or commuting from male to sorry fulidu to um, mafushi where a, a family had hired a speedboat for 200 dollars uh, to drop off from um, fully to Mafushi and we all chipped in there were two other couples and me and um, we all chipped in the same $200 uh, whereas if that if the if we hadn't taken the private speedboat it would have costed us $30 per head to go to the other island so there are options you can just negotiate um, with a speedboat op operator um, and um, yeah you can you can find out um, how to get from one island to another.